Though this weekend may mark the end of Harlequins' season in the Gallagher Premiership, that doesn't mean it's the end of the action. More than 50 cyclists have embarked on an ambitious ride from their South London home to watch the team play their final match of the season in Coventry. This is Rival Ride 2019, which is uh, in aid of the Harlequins Foundation, which I, I'm in charge of. And uh, we've got Maserati and Jolly Hog supporting us, and I'm hoping for a really good event. We're going to travel from, or cycle from Twickenham Stoop up to the Rico Arena to watch uh, the Mighty Quins take on Wasps tomorrow. We're looking to tackle inequality, poor health and any challenges that the most vulnerable in society face. So a lot of different programmes around mental resilience, working with young people around attack, tackling childhood obesity, right through to diabetes awareness and health checks on a, on a match day. And then you know, leading into making people uh, more able to access sport, in particular rugby. So uh, those underrepresented groups that don't traditionally play or watch rugby, we're going in to target them as well. Alongside supporters of the foundation, professional rugby players from the club will be taking part in the ride. One of those is Mark Lambert. Yeah, it's a brilliant organisation. You know, it works in um, works throughout our local community and internationally as well. Getting people into rugby, um, really helping individuals and communities transform themselves. Um, whether that's women's sport, whether that's disability sport, whether that's reaching out to India or Africa, where we do our work, it's. We're kind of inspiring and equipping individuals to change their life. Listen, I love team sport, and I think ever since I was younger, I've loved team sport. And I think a massive reason reason for that is that the the whole is bigger than than yourself. And so, uh, I think that's why I love doing stuff at a charitable level because sports a really powerful thing. It's great to watch a game of rugby, but actually, it's the impact it can have on, on individuals and collective. And um, I'm really proud to be associated with the Queen's Foundation, and hopefully, I can finish today. As the cyclists set off for a long day in the saddle, one burning question remained. Could Harlequins win their match against Wasps and secure their place in the playoffs? Oh, most definitely. Bonus point win, Harlequins top four. Come on, you Quins.